praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, there's something that I would like to talk to you about ourselves. From our childhood, as children, as adolescents, as youth, as young adults, teenagers, we have different likings in our lives, different desires, different hopes, dreams that we really want to build our future upon. It's very good to have dreams. It, that's very good to have plans. I just want to bring your attention to just one small thing. In case our dreams shatter, our plans doesn't work the way that we want it. What happens to us? We become disappointed, obviously, and we fall into despair. We lose hope. We become helpless. We become restless. We become depressed. Can we be in that situation all the time in our lives? Thereafter, we will not have hope. We will not want to have any dreams. We will just live for the sake of living. Is that the way the Lord wants us to live? No, I don't think so. So I just want to bring to you a testimony of a mother. This is a single mother who had a lot of dreams for her daughter. She worked so hard to educate the child. And when the child actually got into uni, university, the second year, she had to pay for the exam fees and she was finding it very difficult to find it. She says, many times I tried to go speak to a person who lent money for high interest. She said, I was going close to that person and something was stopping me. Something told me, don't go. And one thing that I need to talk about in this testimony is how this mother spent her entire life in prayer. She always went to the Lord with all her cares. And then she says, when it was just one hour left to register the child's name for the exam, she said, someone called and said, I found the money for you. And that money was given to her as a gift. It was not even borrowed money. It was a gift. And how she was able to pay the child's exam fees. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the work of the Lord. This is not human intervention, my dear friends. When we fall, when we fail, when other human beings fail us, we go into depression. Depression is not a nice place to live. What does the Lord say to us? Can we look at the scripture today? Let's look at 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7. The Lord says, So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him, because he cares for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord knows us. The Lord loves us. He knows everything that we need. So all what we need to do is just go to the Lord in prayer. Give him, tell him, Lord, I have this desire. See, in Psalm uh, 34, it says so beautifully, I am the Lord who who fulfills your heart's desires. So the Lord knows what's best for us. And Jesus is always waiting to hear our prayer. All what we need to do is 
just simply go to the Lord. When we look at his passion, death and the resurrection, why do you think that Jesus had to go through that suffering? Because he loves us. Why did he give up his life to, for us? Because he loves us. And his life never stopped in death. He's the risen Lord and we can meet him. All what we need to do is just go to the Lord in prayer. And all what we need to do is cast all our burdens at his feet. Tell him. Lord, I, these are my dreams, Lord. These are my hope. These are my plans, Lord. One thing is for sure, my dear sisters and brothers. We can have 101 plans for ourselves. But if it is not the best for us, God will never permit it. And that could be a situation for us to go back to depression and even think that the Lord will not answer our prayers. No, 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 it's not like that. The Lord says, you human fathers, would you ever give a child a knife? No, we may not know about our future, but of course, God knows our future. What should we do? Just simply tell him, Lord, these are my dreams. Lord, these are my plans. But let it be done according to your will. Because the Lord knows exactly what we should get, what we shouldn't get. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So all what we need to do is, like that mother did, she spent her life in prayer. Her daughter was studying, actually this daughter was studying in a very leading school, a good school in uh, Colombo. She, because she was, uh, her father abandoned them and she didn't have the support of the father, the school never allowed her to participate in any extracurricular activities because she didn't have the support of the father. What the teachers said was, it's so difficult for you to come for practices. Yet, this child got through the university with fine colors. And when that happened, the same school teachers called her and said, create an association. See, the child's desires never was, go, Lord never allowed the desires to go down the drain. The Lord actually exalted her. That's exactly what the Lord says. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time because God knows the right time, the correct time. If that comes to us at the wrong time, that's also not good for us, not so good for us. That can destroy our lives. But God knows exactly what time, in which way that we should be exalted. And the, and the Bible says, the scripture says, cast all your worries upon him because he cares for you. So if we actually focus on Jesus, the Lord will never fail. The Lord will never let us down. He is always there to lift us up. One thing is for sure, he will never be in a rush and he will never be too late. He will always be on time. So my dear sisters and brothers, all what we need to do is trust in him. And we all, what we need to do is give our problems to the Lord. He knows exactly what answer that he would bring to us. He is the answer. His love is the answer. His love will never fail. Let's keep this in mind and go to the Lord in prayer because we have a God who will never let us down. And this God is our 
Abba Father. He loves us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you.